Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's NZ420 Glitcher here. So in this video today, there's basically a re-upload, but uh, not. it's kind of like, yeah, basically a re-upload. Okay, so I'm sorry about this, but this re-upload is needed, okay? So there's a lot of people uh, not seeing where the glitch is with this glitch, and like, basically they're not doing it right. So I'm gonna show you a very efficient way to make money from this and how to take advantage from this glitch as best as possible. You wanna go ahead and open up the Gene Ropey GitHub map. So shout out to Gene Ropey. And that link will be in the description for the map for all these collectibles. And once you've opened up that map, you do wanna hide all. And you just wanna, after you hide all, you want to make sure you're showing the coins on the map, okay? So make sure that you're just showing the coins. And what you wanna do is you wanna set the markers. At the moment, they're around roads. So most of them are around roads and Emerald Ranch. You wanna set those coins around, the markers, sorry, on those coins around roads. So as you can see here, I'm digging up the first one, which is at roads, and it's underneath this train bridge right here. So I've put a red marker on that one. And then after I do dig up this one, I do make my way north up towards Emerald Ranch and I am riding there, okay? Because it's not that far of a distance. And halfway to Emerald Ranch, there's another one down the well here at the moment. Okay, so you're gonna collect this one and these are all coins by the way. So you do wanna do this with the coins because they're the most expensive items, okay? So after you dig up this one, of course, if there are any jewelry dig sites nearby you do want to grab those ones as well so you will see as soon as i come up out of the well here i do run over to this dig site over here because i do know that there is a piece of jewelry in the ground over here so of course i'm going to dig up that piece of jewelry and then after i dig up that piece of jewelry i'm going to hop back on my horse and i'm going to make my way up to emerald ranch okay once I get up to Emerald Ranch, there is yet another piece of jewelry right here that I know of behind this house. So of course I'm gonna collect that one as well because we're not gonna go past easy money. But after we collect that one, we're not gonna forget this coin, which is what we came up here for underneath these clotheslines at Emerald Ranch at the moment. So the whole idea of this guys is we're getting all the coins that we can from Rhodes and Emerald Ranch or wherever they will be at the time that you're watching this video okay and what we're going to do here is we're actually going to fast travel to strawberry because there is a coin at strawberry as well it's just up near the stable so we're just going to turn around here and make our way up to the stable because there is a coin up near the stable so i did sort of slow a little bit of the footage down here i didn't want to fast forward all this because some hilarious shit did just happen to me right now okay i crashed my horse right there and then i came up here I crashed into a tree and then I got back on my horse and literally the moment after I got back on my horse and rode off, I did crash into another tree. So that's Red Dead for you. So at this moment, I really do feel like shooting my horse in the head, but I, but I didn't obviously. I just got back on my horse and I rode over um, to collect this last coin. And after I collect this last coin guys, what we're gonna do is make our way to Blackwater. Okay, so with this method, you are going to be making about $220 or $250, around about that, per half an hour. Okay, so you're going to be making an insane amount of cash every half an hour, just digging up the coins. Okay, of course, you can go around and dig up a lot of other things from around the map as well, as long as they're dig sites or wildflowers or bird eggs. Okay, you can go and do that, but at... At the moment in this video, we're focusing on the coins because they are an expensive item. Also guys, for this next step to respawn the items in, there is a new way how to do it, okay, that we did just do today. So obviously we're gonna be going to the poker table, but I'm gonna explain to you right here the new way to do it, okay? The new way to do it is basically with the bounty board, okay, but we are not gonna have to worry about hitting a solo lobby in the bounty so obviously i just show you guys in the background there too that i did get disconnected do not worry that if you get disconnected okay just load straight back into a free roam and continue on with the glitch okay this will not muck up the glitch at all 
so do not worry if you get disconnected okay i didn't want to i just wanted to keep that in there just to show you guys okay that it just doesn't matter if you get disconnected so with this new method guys it's going to be with the bounty board and basically you're going to need the legendary bounty okay so instead of going to the poker table you're going to start up a legendary bounty and then once it puts you in the solo legendary bounty you are going to press options and go to online and find a new free roam but for this video we are going to use a poker table so we're going to come to the poker table we're going to host a private game after we host a private game it is going to sort of load us into the game like a mission okay kind of exactly how you would get loaded in to the legendary bounty you get that gray and white looking screen once we are sitting at the table by ourselves, we do want to hit the options button so start and then once we hit the options or start button or whatever it is on pc i can't think about what it is on pc but you want to go to online and then you want to find a new free roam and after you find a new free roam you just want to accept that alert and from here it will load you in to the new free roam session and every item that you just collected should be able to be collected once again so just want to talk a little bit more about the legendary bounty method for this okay if you are using the legendary bounty method to respawn these items in instead of the poker table or the camp well then obviously you're going to be wanting to hunt for your dig sites or your collectibles for at least 40 to 45 minutes okay to give that legendary bounty time to cool down so you can start it up again okay so hunt a decent amount of items basically is what i'm saying if you're doing that method with the poker table or the camp it does not matter how fast you are all right so as you can see here i've head down to roads i've collected the coin at roads under the train track i've collected the coin and the jewelry at that house and now i've come up here to emerald ranch and i've collected the jewelry and the coin underneath the clothesline and then once again after i've done that i have made my way back to strawberry and as you can see right as i got back to strawberry i did get disconnected okay this is probably the worst thing that could happen because right here i actually did lose money at the moment because i did fast travel to strawberry so i spent four dollars i fast traveled to strawberry you know when i got to strawberry i basically got disconnected and then when i loaded back in it wanted me to fast travel to strawberry again so i did have to spend another four dollars so that kind of did suck but oh well we just come to strawberry anyway and just to collect that last coin and after we collect that last coin we are going to make our way to a bounty board to start a legendary bounty okay and if you start a legendary bounty at a bounty board once you load into that legendary bounty you want to hit options go to online and find a new free roam and then when you load into the new free roam every single item will be respawned okay but i did check the bounty board out and there was no legendary bounty there for me because it has not cooled down yet so i'm just going to go back to the poker table and once i go back to the poker table i'm once again going to hold triangle to enter the poker table and then i'm going to hold square to host a private game okay guys so i have just collected those same collectibles two times now in less than 24 hours okay so that's um faster than what we would normally be able to do it because as you all know after we do dig the dig site and collect the item there is a certain time until we can dig that item again i believe it's like 20 hours or 24 hours or something like that so we are actually bypassing that and collecting it an unlimited amount of times or at least until we have a full amount of coins anyway but like i said once like i said before sorry once you are in the private poker game and at the table by yourself you do want to press start go to online and then find a new free roam okay make sure you are sitting at the table by yourself and then find a new free roam okay if you're not sitting at the table by yourself that means you did not host a private game you need to host a private game so i'm going to show you right now that i do have two of each of those coins and uh, not only do i have two of each of those coins i do have a little bit of jewelry too okay so i'm going to show you that you know i did go to madame mazar and take a bit of a screenshot for you guys of what i what i made and i did make about 200 or 220 dollars in about half an hour's worth of footage so if you did go ahead and like the video then drop a big fat like i'm nz420 glitcher i'll see you next time